up guys it's Fruitsbo here and today I'll be making um, a, e a top 5 games we want to see at E3 2017 I will do more of the e these E3 videos coming more close to E3 since it is coming really close we have like what 2-3 weeks left till E3 and it's really exciting right now so I might just do more videos um, so stay tuned for that and yeah, let's get right into the top 5 list. Coming in at number 5 is a new Super Smash Bros game or Super Smash Bros Deluxe for the Nintendo Switch. Now everyone loves Super Smash Bros, but in my opinion and in many's opinion, we need something new and fresh for the fans and the community. Mario Kart 8 had a Deluxe for the Nintendo Switch, so I don't see why they can't do the same for Super Smash Bros. If this would come out, it would be really good for the fans in my opinion. I, I love it. I love Super Smash Bros. Yeah, I don't know. It's just it was one of the best crossover games in history. And having a new one could, you know, make everything new and fresh. New characters. Even a deluxe. Adding a little bit new characters and new maps would still be pretty fun for the fans and the community. Coming in at number 4 is the next Splinter Cell game. Now Splinter Cell, the last uh, release in the Splinter Cell series is Splinter Cell Blacklist which never came out since 2013 so right now would be the perfect time for them to release a new one. I'm sure they have good, that they could do really good in this game just like they did Blacklist which I really enjoyed. I don't know about others but I really enjoyed Bla Blacklist so doing it with the new next gen consoles and you know all the new hardware like the xbox scorpio ps4 pro i think they could really make this game one of the best splinter cells in the series the series franchise now coming in at number three is the avengers the project that square enix is working on my most hyped square enix game besides rise son of rome if you don't know who square enix is they're the people who worked on final fantasy the company that worked on Final Fantasy so this game um, will probably have amazing graphics just saying but I wonder how the gameplay is gonna be the reason this is not higher up on the list is because I don't think it's gonna be shown at E3 2017 sadly I think it's gonna have its own um, reveal by itself because uh, you know timing and everything and development timing but if it if it was confirmed to be there you know it would be my number one most hyped game to see at E3 probably coming in at number two is the next Batman game now Batman Arkham Knight was one of my was one of the best games of the year it was amazing and them coming out with another one is a really good idea um the reason is I the reason I think they're gonna come out and say this at E3 that they're even working on it maybe they might just say they're working on it but the reason I think they're gonna do that is because how well the other game did and they want people to get hyped for it and they might have a trailer for it maybe but I, I doubt it's gonna be coming anytime soon in 2017 the game no 2018 maybe um at the least to me I don't think this is coming out in 2017 of course not but it, it deserves its number two spot for a reason I want to see this for sure and I'm sure a lot of other people want to see this. Coming in at number 3 is Left 4 Dead 3. Now who doesn't want to see Left 4 Dead 3? Everybody has been asking for this game the last probably 5 years. This game is this game is rumored to be coming out and be shown this E3 and this game has been being worked on. This a uh, rumored to be worked on for the longest. Even Machinima a while back said it was being worked on. So if this be shown, this E3, hopefully at the Xbox One conference, it will be a humongous surprise to the fans, to me, and everyone in the gaming community that I know of. Let's put everything we have well, guys, that wraps up the top five most hype E3 out. games. I mean, that would want that I would want to be shown and many others so if you like the video subscribe like and comment I will be doing more of these E3 top 10s or 5s and I'll 
to the road of E3, which I'm probably going to be live streaming. So, like, subscribe, and comment. And thank you guys for watching. Peace.